Welcome back to another Achilles Getting Started video. In our last couple of videos, we showed you how to create an API key authentication method and an access role to grant permissions to that authentication method. And that showed us how human access would work using the access key and ID. So in this demo, we'll show you how machine access works with Achilles and AWS IAM. And the best part is that it's done without the use of any secrets. The same, of course, can be done with GCP, Azure, Kubernetes, and more. So the AWS IAM authentication method is a way to authenticate AWS infrastructure to Achilles based solely on AWS roles assigned to the infrastructure rather than tokens. Without a token, the security risks for the system are minimized, and it also makes setup really easy. The idea here is that IAM authentication uses AWS as a trusted identity provider. Achilles works behind the scenes to connect with AWS, and if the roles and other details attached to the infrastructure match the configuration in Achilles, access is granted to the AWS resource you are interacting with, and you can easily change access by modifying either the IAM role or Achilles access role. And here you can see a nice little diagram of the resource that you're uh, trying to interact with, for example, EC2, where you would put through a command and then the it would get signed a signed token sent and appended to uh, Achilles uh, our SAS and then that would get passed on to AWS for verification and it comes back and then the response comes back to the resource. So let's go ahead and see how to create our first uh, AWS IAM authentication method and we will see how it's done uh, when you create uh, your first command as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead to our console, click on auth methods on the left hand side, go ahead and click new AWS IAM. We will call it IAM auth one. And what you have to do is give it at least the AWS account that you're using, uh, the ID. And what we do for best practices, security practices is to actually give it one of the other um, options here as well in order to make sure that you're using the principle of least privilege when giving permissions to access secrets. So go ahead and grab the role name, put that in here, click save, and we now have that authentication set up and ready to go. And we'll show how the same thing can be done in the CLI and just Again, going back to the docs where we were, you could see the command here. So we'll grab this just to make it easy. Achilles ground M minus minus, I'll give it a name. We're gonna call it IAM auth two and bound uh, AWS account ID. And in this case, I'll just give it the ID and have it created just to show how it's done from the CLI. Great, and we have the access ID there. And notice all we have is an access ID, right? There's no key, there's no secret. Okay, and there we have it created. So once we have our authentication method created, the next thing we wanna do is of course, set up an access role for it. So we go ahead and click new access role and we will call it IAM role. Click create role. And of course we need to give it the proper access. First we need to associate the correct authentication method. In this case, I am auth one. And of course we want to give it access to secrets. Um, in this case, we don't care about anything else. And just to drive the point home, we'll give it access to only the dev secrets. Create read update list. Click add, great. And now we have the authentication method set up with the correct permissions. So the next thing we can do is go ahead and run in the docs we can see here is the Achilles configure command. And that configures your CLI to work with AWS IAM authentication. And you need to make sure to run it inside of your AWS resource. In this case, I have an EC2 machine up and running. I'll go ahead and run that Achilles configure command and make sure to put in the correct access ID. 
and we grab that from here, authentication methods. I am auth1, I'll grab that ID, paste it in there, click enter, and now we're ready to run our first command to show and see that it is properly connected and working. And behind the scenes, of course, everything's gonna happen that we talked about earlier. So let's go ahead and run, let's say, a keyless get secret value minus minus name slash dev slash foo one and there we go we retrieved the secret and so just to drive the point home uh, regarding modifying the iam role within uh, aws in this case the ec2 instance go ahead and bring in that instance here so we can see it you see the IAM role says Jeremy Dumbo role that has enough permissions, of course, to be able to access secrets. If we go ahead to modify IAM role and we choose Jeremy Dumbo role two, which has very few privileges. Okay, we go ahead back into the terminal and I'm just gonna run a quick command to remove the temporary uh, credentials here, the, the cache basically. And if I go ahead and run same command, we see that it fails to get through credentials because it can't authenticate. And if we, let's say, try to get a different one, same thing. Now let's say I go back into the instance, go ahead and put the IAM role back to Jeremy Demo role, click update IAM role. Great, we're good to go. And go ahead and grab it. And there we have it. So now you see how you can also simply modify the IAM role, and that is another way to control, uh, make it making this much simpler uh, in terms of handling the permissions and privileges. So that is how we do uh, AWS IAM authentication, and we will see you in the next video.